What's up, Freckle family? Happy New Year. It's Sunday, January 1st, and I'm your daily trivia host, Ian Finer, a.k.a. Lord Trivia himself. Today, we are celebrating New Year's Day with a special Sunday episode, and to kick off the new year and celebrate the end of 2022 and the start of 2023, we wanted to give everyone a fun, quick round of New Year's trivia. Now, let's get the day started and the year started with question one. What is the most common New Year's resolution made by people in the United States? Is it A, to lose weight, B, to quit smoking, C, to save money, or D, to get a new job? Well, according to various surveys and studies, the most common New Year's resolution made by people in the United States is A, to lose weight or improve their health. This can include resolutions to exercise more, eat healthier, lose weight, or get more sleep. Other common resolutions include improving financial stability, increasing productivity, and finding more time for relaxation and enjoyment. While making a New Year's resolution is a common tradition, it can be challenging to stick to these resolutions over the long term. Many people find it difficult to maintain the motivation and discipline needed to achieve their yearly goals. And as a result, most New Year's resolutions are abandoned or forgotten within a few months. Now, on to the next question. What country is it traditional to celebrate New Year's Eve by wearing red underwear? Is it A, Spain, B, Italy, C, France, or D, Germany? Well, in our answer, B, Italy, it is traditional to celebrate New Year's Eve by wearing red underwear. This tradition is believed to bring good luck and prosperity in the coming year, and it is a popular custom amongst many Italians. The tradition of wearing red underwear on New Year's Eve is thought to have roots in ancient Roman mythology. According to the legend, the god of Venus, who is the goddess of love and beauty, was born from the sea, fully grown and wearing red underwear. Some people believe that by wearing red underwear on New Year's Eve, they can tap into the positive energy and luck associated with Venus and start the new year off on the right foot. In fact, in Italy, it is common to find red underwear for sale in many stores and markets around the holiday season, and many people choose to purchase new red underwear specifically for New Year's Eve. It is also common for people to exchange red underwear as gifts or to include them as part of the New Year's Eve celebrations. Please, no one send me red underwear, I won't wear them. Now, on to the next question. In Spain, it is traditional to eat 12 types of what food at midnight on New Year's Eve? Is it A, grapes, B, eggs, C, chestnuts, or D, blocks of cheese? Well, 12 blocks of cheese would be way too many. So in Spain, it is actually traditional to eat 12 A, grapes on midnight New Year's Eve. This tradition is believed to bring good luck and prosperity in the coming year, and it is popular amongst many Spaniards. The tradition of eating grapes of New Year's Eve is thought to have originated in the late 19th century, when grape growers in Spain began to promote the custom as a way to sell an excess of the grapes from the harvest season. The tradition has quickly caught on, and it has become a popular way to celebrate the New Year in Spain. To participate in the tradition, people in Spain purchase a bunch of grapes and set them aside for New Year's Eve on mid at midnight on New Year's Eve. At midnight, they eat one grape for each chime of the clock, trying to swallow each grape before the next chime. It is believed that if you are able to eat all grapes before the final chime, you will have good luck in the coming New Year. Now, on to question number four. In what city is the first New Year's Eve celebration held each year? Is it A, New York City, B, London, C, Sydney, or D, Auckland? Well, in the city of D, Auckland, New Zealand, the first New Year's Eve celebration of the year is held. This is because of the time zone difference. Auckland is the first major city to welcome in the New Year. And as a result, it has become a popular destination for New Year's Eve celebrations. The New Year's Eve celebration in Auckland is a major event, and it attracts thousands of people from around the world. The celebration includes a variety of activities, including live music, fireworks displays, and cultural performances. The event is held in the city's downtown area and is free and open to the public. 
In addition to the main celebration, there is also a number of events and activities that take place in Auckland on New Year's Eve. These include parties, dinners, and other social gatherings, and they offer a range of options for people looking to celebrate the New Year in a unique and memorable, and of course, New Zealander way. Now on to the final question of 2022, and the final question of 2023. What is the name of the song played here? Old acquaintance, before God. Is it A, Everybody Loves Somebody, B, Lady Fingers, C, Moonlight Serenade, or D, Old Lang Syne? The classic New Year song that just played is D, Old Lang Syne, which I don't think I pronounced right. Old Lang Syne is the traditional Scottish folk song that is often played at midnight on New Year's Eve to mark the start of the new year. The song's title, which translates to Old Long Since or Times Gone By, reflects its themes of friendship, nostalgia, and the passage of time. Old Long Syne is believed to have been written by the Scottish poet Robert Burns in the late 18th century. Burns took the song's melody from an older folk song and wrote new lyrics for it, and it quickly became popular in Scotland and beyond. The song has been covered by a number of different artists over the years and has been featured in a number of different films, television shows, and of course, other works of popular culture. It is a staple of New Year's Eve celebrations around the world, and it is often sung as a group with people joining hands and singing along. And that concludes today's special round of New Year's Eve trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer. Thank you so much for playing, and thank you all for making 2022 so amazing and memorable for us as we look forward to massive, massive things coming in 2023 very, very soon. Season one. We'll see you again tomorrow for Sun Trivia with the Sunnies. Thank you so much for playing, and Happy New Year.